We'll see how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Iowa State's a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line. And, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and, and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. You keep gaining negative yards, and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Certainly, they don't have the return on here. He really got a hold of that one. Brought down at the 36-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. These short, effective passes are going to help the quarterback's confidence. And he's taken down at the 43. Sometimes when you think you've got great plays called, the defense just has the answers. And this one is a beauty. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Every drive is important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Tries to get around the corner. He's to the 40. Across midfield. And they finally knock him out at the 45. I thought it was pretty impressive they were able to stop him. I thought he had enough room to break away from everybody and take it all the way to the house. You can't block me. You can't block me. And down he goes at the 37. That makes it second and two. Tackled after a decent pickup. They'll get a first down there on the play with the run from the tailback. Good running and a strong push to get into the second level of that defense. Heading for the corner. And he is drilled at the 19. This is the kind of steady, strong drive the coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. That makes it second and six. Hey, we got a steal. They'll bring him down at the 17. They'll lose a yard on that quarterback keeper. It's third and eight. Ball on the 17. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. And that one's incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. Iowa State could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up and it is good. Everyone's all lined 
up and ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He's on the run. Makes it out to about the 36. Complete pass. Coach is going to have to be happy with that one. The defender was in the right position to make the play. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Zips it to the tight end. Tackle made around the 46-yard line. at the 45-yard line. Got an opening. He's at the 30, makes it out to about the 29. They've obviously found a formula for moving the ball against this defense. Let's see if any adjustments are made before their backs are really against the wall. He might not be able to get the pass off. He heaves it to the end zone. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. First and 10, ball on the 20-yard line. Iowa State holds a field goal lead. He's out to the 30, brought down at the 35-yard line. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. That makes it first and 10. He's tackled at the 46. Gain of 11 yards. First down. He's not going to get me. He's at the 40. Makes it out to about the 33. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 15. That's a game of 18. That makes it first and 10. Mike 9. Mike 9. Check, check, check. And he's stopped behind the line. He had nowhere to go on that option play. Boy, you're right. He's lucky he held onto the football there. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 17 yard line, second down. He gets to about the five. seven-play, 80-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Cyclones really came prepared to play defense today, and the plan is working. Well, so far in this game, you've got to tip your cap to the defensive coordinator. He has clearly done a very good job of getting his team ready to play, and they have done a nice job of slowing down this very explosive offense. Going deep. Can't connect. Number 16 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 25. Set, play, 80. Throws it in a hurry. And they make the stop right around midfield. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Handoff up the middle. And we've reached the end of one. 10-0, Cyclone. First down. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. My 52. Now watch run, watch run. Run, run. Gets it. He's in space. He gets hit out of bounds around the 29-yard line. He has some room. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That'll bring up second and two. Mike, watch Mike, watch Mike. Let's go, D. Here we go. Right in. Got some open field. Makes it out to about the 13. Predicated on being able to move efficiently like this. Ready, green 90, green 90. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Double tight, guys, double tight. Four down, four down. Key 15, key 15. New Mike 52. Ready, check, check. Hammerhead! Motion, motion, Hammerhead! Motion, motion. motion. He's taken down around the five yard line. That's good for him. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. On the pass, touchdown! Tight end does a nice job coming down with that touchdown catch. He certainly did, Brad. This guy's a big time threat inside the 10 yard line because of his size. He can outmuscle defensive backs for the ball. You talk about a clutch play. They couldn't afford any mistakes on fourth down there. Here's the extra point to get within a field goal. And he hits the PAT. North Carolina is lining up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Iowa State is up by three. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. About the 33 yard line. He fights forward to about the 36.
tackled for a loss. So they end up with a loss after calling the draw. He started out rushing the passer and then just got lucky and ran right into the running back on the draw. Second and 13 coming up here. Ball on the 33. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And he's taken down at the 47. Number 16 with the tackle at the 47 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's immediately tackled. That'll make it second and inches. Check, check, check. Deep pass to the end zone, and it's complete for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Gets to about the 34 yard line. a great tackle at the 32-yard line. The defense punches them off the field after just three plays. That was a short round, Brad. Nothing seems to be working right now. The defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Booming kick. Fielded at the 19. Gets to about the 27-yard line. The Cyclones' game plan is just what we've been seeing through a couple of quarters now. Give this guy the football and let him ram it down the defense's throat and just keep giving it to him until he gets tired or the defense gets tired. Well, the offensive line, I also think, deserves a lot of credit. You know, the, the back is the star. He's been getting most of the yards and most of the attention, but he's not doing it alone. The offensive line's paving the way and opening this thing up, and, and the running back's taking advantage of it. They've had a great first half. That makes it second and eight. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch and a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and a quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. Out of bounds at the 48. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's wrapped up for the sack. He airs it out. Leaps picked off. And he's level at the 11. A well-timed interception there. Well, they're still down by a couple of scores, but the turnover certainly helps their chances. If they score on this drive, they're right back in the game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. Looking 
looking for his man incomplete. Number five, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. Quick strike to the receiver. He's tackled in the open field. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. Here we go! Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And down he goes at the 28. Number two, he makes the set to at the 28-yard line. Watch Mike, watch Mike. That makes it second and eight. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. He's at midfield, knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, first down. There's a strike complete, he's down. I like that they're completing these underneath routes because pretty soon the defense is gonna start to cheat up. And that's when the quarterback will have his chance to go over the top for the big play. Gets it out quickly. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. I got two. I got two. Here we go. Gets out to around the 28. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense in their sight. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to... Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. He's a nightmare to try and cover, and he showed you why right there. His speed just melts coverage scheme. Here's the point after to try to cut this to a three-point game. And he adds the extra point. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect he'll just quick kick this one. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. <laughs> This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. And they got him. We've played a half. Iowa State in front, 17-14. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The first half was a clinic in the running game. Not only were the double teams executed properly by the offensive line, they reached the second level. A pretty demoralizing first half for the defense. Yeah, because stopping the run's about being physical. And so you know that it's man on man, and you got to push that other guy back. And when you're getting pushed around consistently, and then you go, okay, they're killing us with the run. We got to come up. We got to bring an extra guy in the box. And they're still destroying you. Absolutely, 100%. It becomes psychological, and you got to find ways to stop the run because. 
that's the easiest play to do. They're not even having to pass the football, Reese. They're just being able to run it over and over and over again. And if I'm them, I keep running the money play, which which has been the running game the whole first half, and, and it's going to continue to be successful unless you man up and start getting some penetration. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. It's going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kurt ready with a call. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. The defense was just all over that play. It didn't fool anybody. That makes it second and 14. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on their own 21. Caught it, but they're going to lose yards. He was tackled immediately. Number 10 makes the tackle. That makes it third and 15. And he's going to come up with a sack. Loss of seven yards on the ball. That makes it fourth and long. Here we go. Oh! Fourth and long here after the sack. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Kirk, we've talked a lot about this guy over the last few years. Here he is again, making it look easy. But when you have a defensive lineman that's able to control the football game from the inside, it forces the offense to have to account for him on every single play. To me, this is just a classic example of just being bigger, faster, and stronger than the guy trying to block you. He's looking up at that scoreboard thinking he'll need more help. So we're just about ready to return to action. Iowa State is up a field goal. Tackle made right around the 44-yard line. That makes it second and two. Complete. He's got room. That makes it first and ten. Gets out to around the 25. He's tackled at the eight. That makes it first and goal. Run down after a nice run up the middle. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. Here we go, folks. Third and goal from the four. Splits the uprights with the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He really got a hold of that kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. 
Not much luck the last time this offense had the ball. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Good protection, and now he's on the run. He throws left, and it's caught. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. middle to his tailback and they make the stop the 39 yard line play of this defensive end. This is just solid run defense here. They get a great push up front, not allowing the runner to have much room to work with. And at the end, they're able to wrap him up. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 36. And he tackles him hard at the 44. That's a loss of 12 yards on the way. And this one is a beauty. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Got an opening. He's out to the 30. That's a Quick throw. He's taken down at about the 49. Gain of 16 on the play. That makes it first and 10. I got you. You're all on. You're all on, baby. You're all on. Feeds it to the back. And they'll get him in the backfield. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. From their own 47-yard line, it's second down. Throws complete. He stopped immediately. That'll make it 35. Tackle at the 37. Makes the reception. Number 27 makes the tackle. Like that. 37 like that. Mike nine. First Mike down. Nine. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. 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 Makes it to the 21. First down. The toughness here by this quarterback of sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. He's got a touchdown. Converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. 
and he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Iowa State's game plan was to run the ball, and they are doing it brilliantly. Uh, they knew coming in that they'd have to be able to rely on running the football. So far, so good. We'll see how it plays out the rest of the second half. They'll spread the field with five wide. Fires out to his wide out, and he's taken down around the 36-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds at the 49. Five wide. Quick throw, and down he goes to the 36-yard line. Gets it out to him again. He gets hit out of bounds at about the 27-yard line. Carries the ball for a nice game. Quick throw out to the receiver. Inside the 10. And they push him out just outside the goal line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. That's three down and one to go. The Cyclones lead it by 17. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. the PAT. So a seven play, 75 yard drive, and they put up seven points. You know, Brad, a lot of times you have to watch practice and watch a seven on seven drill and not see the ball touch the ground. This time they went the entire length of the field. The ball never touched the ground. Great execution by the quarterback. In the this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's on the run. And they get nice yardage on that run. That'll make it second and four. The handoff on the counter. Slings it. He's pushed out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. right away. First down. The 
They'll bring him down around the 19-yard line. Call it a game of 11 yards. That makes it first and 10. Hey, hey, hey. Alert, alert, alert. Shift, shift. Run, 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 run. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Call it a game of four yards. Come on, I'm on. That brings him second and five. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. Game of 10. That makes it first and goal. Bang out! Bang out! Bang out! Tackle made right around the four yard line. Game of 10. That brings him second and goal. Touchdown, Cyclones! Great play there to pick up six points. Yeah, this guy is tough in medium yardage situations. Everybody's thinking the quarterback is going to keep it, and the big fella makes his way into the end zone. And he tacks on the extra point. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Iowa State gets set to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with a big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Knocked out of bounds at the 49-yard line. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. Number seven brings him down to the 38-yard line. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked down. for it all to the end zone. It's intercepted. It's a good play when the corner can break up a pass, but it's even better when he can bring it in for an interception. From their own 20-yard line, it's first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Makes it out to about the 39. First down. Roger, Roger! Mike Nine! Mike Nine! Hey, watch the slip! Two and eight! Two and eight! Nice run, and he's brought down. Call it a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the 44. Mike nine, Mike nine. Here go. Seven, nine, four. And it. Here go. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. it out to about the 49. Gain of nine on the play. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. Nice run there. 
Gain of four. That makes it second and six. Larry, Larry. Iowa State staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.